we must reach far beyond our own lifespans. We must think not as individuals, but as a species. Do not go gentle into that good night. Cars kept the endurance right where we needed it, but the trip took years longer than we anticipated. We no longer had the fuel to live at both drive back, so we had to choose. But how? They're both promising. You know, Edmund's letter is better, but Dr. Mann is the one still transmitting. We've no reason to suspect Edmund's data would have soured. His world has key elements to sustain human life. As does Dr. Mann's. Cooper, this is my field. And I really believe Edmunds is the better prospect. Why? Gargantua, that's why. Look at Miller's planet. Hydrocarbons, organics, yes. But no life. It's sterile. You'll find the same thing on man's. Because of the black hole. Not the law. Whatever can happen will happen. Accident is the first building block of evolution, but when you're orbiting a black hole, not enough can happen. It, it sucks in asteroids and comets, other events which would otherwise reach you. You need to go further afield. You once said that Dr. Mann was the best of us. He's remarkable, and we're only here because of him. And yet, yet here he is. He's on the ground. And he's sending a very unambiguous message telling us to come to his planet. Granted, but Edmund's data is more promising. We should vote. Well, if we're going to vote, there's something you should know. Brand, he has a right to know. It has nothing to do with it. What does? She's in love with Wolf Edmonds. Is that true? Makes me want to follow my heart. But maybe we've spent too long trying to figure all this out with theory. You're a scientist, Bran. So listen to me when I say that love isn't something we invented. It's observable and powerful. It has to mean something. Love has meaning, yes. Social utility, social bonding, child rearing. We love people who have died. Where's the social utility in that? None. Maybe it means something more, something we can't yet understand. Maybe it's some evidence, some artifact of a higher dimension that we can't consciously perceive. I'm drawn across the universe to someone I haven't seen in a decade who I know is probably dead. Love is the one thing we're capable of perceiving that transcends dimensions of time and space. Maybe we should trust that, even if we can't understand it yet. All right, Cooper. Yes. The tiniest possibility of seeing Wolf again excites me. That doesn't mean I'm wrong. Honestly, Amelia, it might. Cars, chart a course for Dr. Mann's.